All right, guys, how's it going? Well, I've been busy. I've been out and had my hair cut, you know what I'm saying? Get ready for the weekend, and that. Uh, I've been out to the the cafe to send out my uh, my weekday daily updates, like opinions and stuff like that. If you want to sign up to that, it's free. The link is in the video description. Uh, you can still see today's, even though it's been sent out. There's a way of doing it. Just click on the link and it'll say show me previous or something like that but uh, i enjoy doing it i've been out to the uh to the the coffee shop for that today and i bought some i bought myself some yeah look hey look at that eh? you're not convinced are you it's only 500 quid thanks to you guys i was able to no, <laughs> four euros 50 cents um i don't usually buy like anything tack anything of value, cheap, anything. I don't usually do stuff like that. When I go in a shop, but I saw that in the shop and it reminded me of Rodders. You know what I mean? I mean, he wasn't long-haired like that, like a long-haired border colleague. But it reminded me of him and I thought he was royalty as well. So uh, I'll find somewhere for it. It's not exactly going to go in my front room or something like I think it's too small to go up there to replace that. But um, I don't know, I liked it. So some of you won't know who Rodders was. I mean, to be honest, if he didn't know you, he was Rodney. Uh, but if uh, you know if you were on personal terms with him, he was Rodders. So it is hot, like it's not as hot as yesterday uh, when I was melting uh, in here. Uh, this is Rodders. Oh, there he is. There's Rodders. Oh, he's a border collie. But his hair's quite quite short in that picture. Bless him. I miss him. And uh, you know he used to he used to crop up in the videos all the time. You know, like Remy does now. So that's going back in the day. That is. Uh... Anyway, so. Uh... Kylian Mbappe, so you'd have seen the rumours that Liverpool have made a 200 million euro offer for him, yeah? Ah, yeah all right then. Now, <clears throat> the pessimistic people out there, the people are not very nice, go, ah, you're only making a video because you want to get views. Well, yeah, of course I want to get views, you fucking idiots. Uh, but no, uh, that's not why. I don't, I don't mislead, uh, or I certainly don't attempt to mislead anyone. But it's relevant because... And this is what I was talking about in my email update today, that I've actually been watching Mbappe's situation at PSG to see if that had a knock-on effect with Mo Salah, all right? Because ever since that photograph came out, I think it was in January, uh, of Mo Salah with the... Um, I hate flies, you can get out. Uh, the, the PSG owner, you know. Uh, I've kind of been waiting to see if speculation would surface. And we're going back to January. January is a long time ago. And the dynamics of football have changed a little bit, world football, because of the money in Saudi now. So before the Saudi stuff, you know, I was thinking, I wonder if he'll go to, to PSG. Because that photograph that went online uh, of Mo Salah with the PSG chief, um, I, I thought that was not staged like the photograph stage, like, well, let's all sit here. I don't mean that. But I think that the, the picture was deliberately leaked. I, I genuinely do. And... Um, I think I've discussed that before, but it's irrelevant whether you believe it or not. So, uh, whether you think that or not. So, I've been watching PSG to see what happens with Mbappe. Now, I think he's going to go to Real Madrid. Now, the people here in Spain, the Real Madrid fans that I talk to, they don't think Real Madrid will go for him this summer. Because why would they do that when they can get him free next year? I think he's free to negotiate a deal to uh, Real Madrid from January 1st, right? Uh, so, it wouldn't make sense. Now... PSG have said to Mbappe, you extend your contract within the next two weeks or you'll be sold this summer. Now, they can't force him out. But it's a little bit prickly what's going on over there, right? Uh, and obviously, you know, we've had this journalist. So just in case you're wondering where the, you know, the Mbappe stuff come from, there's a journalist called Edu Aguirre, right? And I've never heard of him either. And, um, you know, he's made this claim, this huge claim uh, about Liverpool uh, moving for Mbappe. And he said, what has occurred in the last few hours in the offices of PSG is that an offer from Liverpool has arrived. Liverpool have entered the scene. Liverpool have made a €200 million Euro offer, offer for Mbappe. The offer from Liverpool that has arrived in the last few hours in the offices of PSG is of €200 million. Euros. al Khalifi has put Mbappe up for sale. So the journalist has made that claim and he's not going to make that claim, right? Unless he thinks there's someone, you know, the person that's telling him it, it unless he, unless he trusts the person telling him, because he knows he's going to make himself look a fucking idiot, right? So I'm not saying that the agent 
thinks that that's true. I'm not trying to give it like any, any at all credibility, right? Just seriously. But what I mean, all right, let me try it another way. The agent's the messenger. Somebody said that to him, right? And the, not the agent, the journalist is the messenger. And someone has said that to him and he's relaying that information, right? Me personally, I'd be like, I'm putting that away if it's even fucking mental. Do you know what I mean? But, so there's a reason that it's out there. What do I always say to you? Always, wait, why am I reading this? Why am I hearing this? What is the benefit of this? Who does it benefit? Does it benefit the journalist? Does it benefit the club? As Rafa would say, hey, <laughs> for sure. Does it, uh, when I say club, I mean PSG. What's the point of them making up fake, fake uh, transfer bids or whatever because they'd only be outed at some point as it not being there? So I'm not sure about that. The player doesn't need to do it or his agent doesn't need to do it because he's got his app. Or his intentions are to go to Real Madrid next year. There's even suggestions that's you know being agreed on. Um, Liverpool. I mean, it sounds good for the owners to go. We tried to get Mbappe, but I don't even think that's in play. The fans wouldn't believe it anyway. But maybe people, onlookers, potential investors, or people like that might look and go, "Oh, that they're, they're serious owners." You just don't know, do you? you know, there is a reason that the Mbappe. That Mbappe claim has been made regarding Liverpool Football Club. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's worth considering. And the reason for the video, really, is to say, well, I, I have just wrote about this in that, um, you know, in that uh, email update, which might be a little bit easier to understand the, than the video. But I have been watching Mbappe's situation because if Mbappe leaves... I was always under the impression that that is an opening for Mo Salah because of that photo back in January. But with the Saudi Arabia situation changing things a little bit now, if you were Mo Salah, would you be going, you know, to PSG? Or would you be going to Saudi Arabia? I know where I'd be going. Um, but there you go. You know, I know some people say, oh, he's just friends with the PSG. Oh, he's just an innocent breakfast. Yeah, right. I'm Mo Salah. I don't look like Mo Salah, right? I'm, I didn't say more salad than I do. <laughs> Definitely don't look like a salad. Um, you know, if I'm more salad, right, and the PSG chief, my friend or acquaintance, says, hey, why don't you come down for breakfast or lunch or dinner, whatever time of day you want to assume it is. Uh, depends if you zoomed in on the pictures. I'm going to turn around and say, are you fucking right in head? I can't do that, mate. If I do that, someone's going to put that picture out. You know, that picture's going to get out there. You know what I mean? Think about it, guys. Think about it. And what happens then? Drama. Liverpool fans panicking. Speculation. Mo Salah's in the news. Could it be available? I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't possibly do that if I had Mo Salah. But Mo Salah just decided to take himself there and plant himself in that situation, which I genuinely think, whether you believe me or not, is his agent at work. Uh, what's he called? Run, 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 run. Run, run, run me, run me a bath, run me a bath, run me a bath, run, run me a bath, run, run me a bath, run me a bath, that's it. Uh, him, uh, I won't trust him as far as I can fucking throw him. I, I know you can't uh, trust any agents, but he's, he's a bit different, allegedly. Anyway, so that's it. So what's the point of the video? The point of the video is, if you have heard of a Liverpool bid going in for Mbappe, and you're like, the fuck, where did that come from? Well, that's where it came from, that journalist, all right? We don't know why. So I would say to you watching this video, why? Why, 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 why would someone make such a claim? So that's something to consider. And the other point was just to say, look, I did write about it on my, uh, my mailing list earlier, but you don't need to read that because I'm addressing it now. I was watching uh, and have been watching and will continue to watch Mbappe's situation at PSG because I've always felt if he left, there'd be an opening for more. But now with the Saudi stuff, Maybe that is something that will uh, will happen in due course, maybe next year. Listen, you know, some people think that the owners are going to cash in on more salad this summer. I, I, I think they'd be shooting themselves in the foot if they did that. I don't think they would sell him at market value. I think if a ridiculous, you know, figure came in for him, I think they would. And I'd kind of understand it, guys. I know you won't understand that from a sports point of view, but you have to have replacements. And that's the other thing I would say to you as well. We have to start thinking ahead. I would imagine Mo might go out there next year, you know? Um, but we have to think ahead. You know, who's who's the replacement for Mo? Mo Salah, as Fabrizio Romano would say. Mo Salah! <laughs> um, if he was, let's say, like, totally just plucking figures out of thin air, right? Just to uh, 
to make a point. Let's say his market value is 100 million sterling, right? Just 100 million. So I, I, look, I, just, I'm doing this to make the maths easy. 100 million, that's what he's really worth today, 100 million, right? I think he's not worth that now in today's market with his age and that. But anyway, maybe he is. You probably watch this, he's worth 300. Yeah, I know, but you're, you're, it doesn't matter. Right, so let's just say FSG say his market value is 100 million pounds, right? And they go, well, nah, we'll, we'll hold on to him, right? Which they probably wouldn't do. But if Saudi came in and said, well, we'll give you 200 million, which is therefore double his market valuation, his genuine valuation, I think FSG would take it. I don't think it would make sense to, to sell him now uh, just for his genuine market value. Does that make sense, guys? I'm probably not doing a good job of explaining myself um, as usual. Anyway, thank you uh, for watching the video. Please give, uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video. Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I go, what, what, why are we reading about that, guys? Please do let me know. Because sometimes you say something and it makes me go, ooh, I never thought of that. Uh, hit the love heart if you want me to have a good weekend. Hooray. Uh, and and gen, you know, gen, generally, just say something nice in the comment. Not about me. You know, just something nice, positive. Let's, let's talk positive. I'm enjoying the positive chatter at the moment. I don't want all the FSG out. When there's a time, you know, we'll do that. When there's a place, we'll do that. Uh, you know, it was only a few days ago or a week ago we were doing videos about, you know, how to get rid of the fuckers. You know what I mean? And hey, my opinion has not changed about FSG. I want to be very clear about that, right? Uh, you know, listen, uh, whether you're pro-FSG, you know, whether you're FSG in, FSG out, or whether you shake it all about, whatever you are, uh, I think you should reserve your, your judgments as to how this summer has been at the end of the summer window. Uh, oh, there was another thing today as well. There's a rumour uh, from someone that I listened to you know, and it's on the, the VIP members' website and the members will back me up with regards to that person. Um, there's a rumour that Liverpool, or a suggestion that Liverpool, or a claim that Liverpool have offered Southampton 41 million euros uh, for Romeo Lavia. Now, that seems considerably lower than his, you know, the speculated or reported market valuation, so I can't imagine that getting uh, much, uh, much of a positive response. So... Uh, I can't confirm it. I don't know if anyone else has said anything similar. I've been on the move all day doing things. So I have literally just got home after my haircut, after being out doing the uh, the email. Uh, I need to, to cool off, as you can see, and uh, and chill out. I might go live soon. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm very tired. I'm hungry. Uh, and I'll catch you later. All right, guys. Listen, um, I'm sure we'll speak again over the weekend. Uh, no Saturday night steaming, streaming tomorrow night, I'm afraid. Uh, unless my arrangements change. Uh, last weekend I did say that and said, said maybe there will be a chance, but my arrangements, you know, do not allow for that tomorrow night. Um, so that's it. Yeah, we'll catch up over the weekend. Um, might go live later today. If not, we might just go live in the morning. So just visit the, the main channel page, click on the bell at the top and make sure it says all. All right. And if you've got Twitter or Facebook, uh, go to uh, the username Cop Talk TV because when I put a video out, I put it out on 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 those Twitter that Twitter account on the Facebook account. Gee, it's, it is so hot in here. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really, really hot. I don't know. I scrub up all right sometimes, I guess. I don't know. See you in a bit, guys.